Hi everyone, thanks so much for checking out this live video. I appreciate it. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Julie Evans and I am a mom and I'm an entrepreneur and I also work in education, hence summer vacation, which I am thoroughly enjoying. I wanted to get on here because earlier I had posted about my overpacking problem. So I just find this so funny because it doesn't matter if I'm going away for a day, two days, a long weekend, or if I'm going away for two weeks, I pack like I need to take my whole entire house with me. It's like, what is vacation for? I kid you not, I come home with most of my suitcase filled with clean clothes. I mean, that's the only good part is I don't have a whole lot of laundry by the time I get back. So um, I decided to research it a little bit. I'm guessing most of us go to um, warm places, whether we go down the shore or um, to Disney World or hiking or wherever that we go. Hey Alex, how are you lady? Um, and we do all this, right? And we always end up like, I know for me, I'll wear the same denim shorts two, three times, you know, what the heck? So anyway, I decided that this is a problem. I need a solution. And I don't know about you, but I thought, let me just look it up and I'll th found, share with you what I found. Okay, first thing, make a list. I do that. I make my list. I do my clothes. I kind of go through what I use in the shower because I want my own stuff. I don't like to use their stuff. I don't know. I like my own wash and, you know, all that. So um, I make that list and then I try to find out if they have a hair dryer at the hotel that I'm staying at. So that's a plus. You don't have to pack your hair dryer if they have one. Let's so make a list. Then another suggestion was to not have a ginormous suitcase, okay? And again, this is where I fall short because I have a huge suitcase. So the it's big, so I just stuff it. My suitcase even has one of those zippers around it so that you can expand it a little bit. Um, and this I do. Back in the day, I would have been one of those people who sat on my suitcase of clothes that I'm sure if I traveled more when I was younger. Um, but so that's a good tip I think too. Um, and then there's this other tip about rolling your clothes. Now my son actually was doing that. I thought he was a little crazy, but you just roll up your shirts and your pants and supposedly they're supposed to fit in there better. Now see, again, this is where it's a good tip. I think it's a good tip and I'll try it, but I feel like if I roll them and they fit in there good, then I'm going to have all this extra space. So I think I'm probably better off starting off with a carry on. And then if I don't have enough room after all my rolling and shoving, move on to the next size suitcase because I know I will stuff it. So there's that. Um, and then, oh, shoes. This cracks me up, okay? I am an 80s girl. I have serious OCD with matching. I like my shoes to match what I'm wearing. I just have like this whole thing going on and I always end up bringing like 10 pairs of flip-flops. And the funny thing is, they're right because they're saying only bring three pairs of shoes. Can you imagine three pairs of shoes on vacation? I have to bring more and if you know why it's because just in case so I'm going to try this too I feel like I wear mostly black clothes and even if I don't wear a black shirt it's okay you know I can wear a white shirt with black flip-flops it's not gonna kill anybody nobody's going to care so I'm gonna try the three shoe thing I don't know maybe four I, it may <laughs> four or five but I think it's a good tip few pairs of shoes um, the mixing and the matching they suggested too so like if you have a couple pairs of denim shorts or black shorts or you know basic colors then you can match them with a basic color shirt so I think that's actually a good idea because I do I, I know I definitely wear my shorts over and over again especially I've been to Disney a lot we were in Honduras last June um, we're going to Costa Rica but we're staying in the rainforest so most of my time is going to be spent hiking I'm not going to be, um, you know, for, of course we're going to have dinners and stuff, but I'm not going to need all those extra things. And let's see, I think there's maybe one more, oh, what was it? I told you about the shoes, the rolling, mixing and matching, big suitcase, make a list. Oh, pack your clothes first and then put your hair dryer and your straightener, your curling iron, whatever it is that you use on top and last. And that's my tips. 
that I learned today and I thought you know what I'm going to try them I'm actually going away um, for two days next weekend and I need to practice this because it is really ridiculous and not only that you go over 50 pounds which I literally have gone 48 and a half pounds and yes Meredith can attest to this I just ridiculous with the stuff that I bring I don't know why I'm not a hoarder or anything like that, but like, I just feel like, what if this happens? What if it rains? What if I'm cold? Oh my gosh. You know, you're going someplace, you know, it's going to be 95 degrees most of the time. You really don't need to have something warm. You don't need a pair of jeans and boots. So I definitely, um, I hope this helps you. I'm hoping it's going to help me. It's my goal to not take all the stuff with me. So if you guys have anything that maybe you're already a great packer and you don't do this crazy stuff like I do and you can help me out that would be great I would love to know because I definitely have about three trips coming up in the next four months so I can use all the help that I can get and I'll be sure next week to take a little some pictures of uh, you know what I'm taking with me for two days <laughs> we'll see all right well if nobody has anything to add I guess I will say goodbye. I can't, you know what, it's so funny because a lot of times after the video, I see stuff. It's strange. All right, have a great night, everybody.